So you draw a cartoon with a rod that has got a pothole. Number one, you decide what size the pothole should be. And uh, it must be significant enough to be noticed. We would show a guy with a fishing rod that is going into the pothole with a, a bit of water in it. You know, you could draw the pothole with a plant sticking out of it and a car coming in the di other direction. You could draw the pothole so big that you know you can just about see a, a whole bus you know just sticking out. That is a political statement of a pothole. So you try to find politics in all sorts of things, in everyday things. I remember the first time I did the cartoon of the president was uh, in 1992. What had happened was that uh, the students were striking. And one of the placards said, down with Mugabe. Uh, you know, just that, those three words in 1992 could make somebody disappear. You know, then I said to myself, why don't I draw the guy himself? I drew these students rioting. They are saying down with Mugabe. So who is the problem? Is it the students or, or the, the president? You know, it's up to you to decide. You see, I, th I think ambiguity is, is, is a good way of, 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 of not only protecting myself, but a, a way of, of, of portraying a, an issue in, in different ways at the same time. You, know? you let uh, ambiguity come into the picture so that people at first are confused. And then when they read through, when they read between the lines, then they can understand it in whatever way they want. The main uh, uh, point of a cartoon is to be the link between the politician and the masses, you know. You get away with it because you are not naming any names, but the people know who you are pointing it. They can't risk their lives laughing at, at the politicians, but they can laugh at the cartoons. And once that happens, the politicians are not going to be happy. It's very difficult to understand when you, 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 you attract such kind of reaction. You know, how does a cartoon manage to uh, make people angry? Why, why, why are they angry? What, what are they trying to hide? Whenever I want to make a statement, I have to draw that statement. I, it's, it's very difficult to write and, uh, and, and make a statement through writing. Uh, I don't make that kind of impact. I have to draw, you see. It's almost like medication that you have to take every day. You can't stop it, you know. So it's, it's, it's something that, that, that uh, I just can't get out of my system, you know. If an idea comes at 3 a.m., I have to start drawing because it's too good to miss. I never realized I could uh, end up ob getting obsessed with cartoons. There is no end to it. And they say to yourself, what have I brought myself into, you see? Because my, my idea was just to make an impact to be felt, you know, some kind of uh, impact that, that would uh, you know, change something, you know. I've uh, been a witness to the death of the media in this country. This new media law will make it even more difficult for journalists to operate. You know, and uh, we can't just sit and, and, and uh, look on, you know, we have to make some kind of noise. People have no idea how frightening it is because if it continues, once the media dies, our voice is going to die. We are going to end up with newsletters from the government, these are only pieces of information, you see. A Minister of Information bulletins 
issued free of charge in the streets. No more newspapers, nothing like that. You know, that area, that era is coming. And we have to make noise to stop it. We have uh, our species which we need to protect at all costs. <laughs>